Altium Designer has a sophisticated functionality for working with repetitive circuit blocks. Hierarchical multi-channel projects allow you to save time on development, as well as make the schemes more demonstrative. Behind a sheet symbol hides a whole schematic fragment. Separate sheet symbols that point to the same schematic document or the repeat keyword are used to define the channels in the schematic. It is necessary to group the components of channel sheets into classes with automatic generation of rooms when the scheme is transmitted to the board. In our example there are two C-out channels and eight C-in channels, for which classes of components and rooms were generated. Component classes are in turn combined into channel classes, the name of which coincide with the name of the channel schematic sheets. Let's see how rooms save time while working with the multi-channel projects layout. Plan your circuit board. Allocate space for channels and distribute it based on the fact that the layout and tracing of the channels will be identical. Think through the layout and topology of an individual channel, taking into account inputs, outputs and inter-channel connections. In our project the channels are distributed as follows. 8 C-in channels, 2 C-out channels. The channels are represented by rooms, component classes and channel classes. The room definition can be found in the section Room Definition of the PCB rules. The Class Explorer gives you access to the component classes and channel classes. Now assume placement and some routing for one channel is finished. There is no need to waste time on the rest. It is enough to use the Copy Room Format command from the Design Rooms menu. Having selected the source room and specified the target one, we activate the command settings window. In the upper left corner we see the selected source room C in 1 class and the target room C in 2 class. By selecting the checkboxes we will set up copying of the component layout together with the topology and overlay. We also copy the form and size of the room. If you want you can copy only certain objects. They must be pre-selected and set the appropriate flag. In the right part we see the parent input channel class, which consists of the source class C in 1 as well as all members of the class. This part is inactive and we leave it unchanged for now. We just need to click OK. Altium Designer will transfer the layout to the selected channels by itself. The copy room format command remains in the target room query mode. Next we will choose C in 3. To activate the list of available classes, select the apply to select the channel checkbox and select the third and fourth ones. This way you can copy the layout to certain channels. This is not all, you can flip some rooms to the other side. The attached components will be flipped together with the room. The side will be changed by pressing the L key as for the components. Let us copy the layout of the remaining four rooms. Note, the system takes into account the side of the room layout and transfers layout accordingly. If you need to make corrections to the layout of the rooms, just drag and drop them as components and rotate with space key or use the command. As alternative, you can use the arrange room command. Let's repeat the actions for C-out channels. Select the copy room format command from the design rooms menu. Select the source and target rooms. If there is a need to make changes to already routed channels, it is not a problem. After you have made changes to a channel, for example after you have applied the clause selected command, you may transfer corrections to all channels in the same way. Master the copy room format tool for better efficiency and don't waste your time on repeating of the same actions.